Depressed Nosagi is, or rather was, a very prominent creator within the VTuber sphere. Although he was a pretty respected member of the community, he was eventually ousted a while ago for certain content he was making. Today, we look through the drama and discuss whether or not the scrutiny he faced was warranted or not. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be talking about Depressed Nosagi today. If you pay attention to the VTuber community, then you have probably heard of him. He's the self-proclaimed VTuber historian. He got popular off of making retrospective type videos off of very big VTubers. He talked about how they debuted, uh, how they handled their audience, how they built their community, all that good shit. Basically just giving a rundown of how they gained their success as a VTuber. He also commented on various different dramas that occurred within the community. He was basically a VTuber comic commentary channel, and he was really liked and well respected for how he was able to conduct himself throughout these dramas. He remained neutral, he documented everything in a compelling and interesting way, and he basically just, he remained completely unbiased in his reporting. I was kind of a fan of him myself, I watched his videos whenever I needed to know something about certain dramas within the community in depth. His videos were really good in my opinion, they were really well researched, he had solid writing skills for his scripts, they were very well structured, and his editing although not amazing or anything, it wasn't bad by any stretch of the imagination. It did its job, it was very simple, it got the job done, and overall I just think he was the best out of all the commentary slash news channels within the VTuber community. I certainly liked him more than people like Kyo or Falseside. I, uh, I can't stand those two fucking guys, they, uh, they gave me a brain aneurysm. That being said though, like a lot of drama channels, he himself eventually got involved in some drama himself. So the whole story starts around 8 months ago when no Nosagi released a video called Important Announcement, where he was basically announcing the start of his Patreon page. And as per regular standards of YouTubers starting a Patreon, the existence of said page wasn't going to affect the quality of his videos, however anyone who did subscribe to it would get some bonuses and perks. Those that join will have access to extra juicy details and information that I normally cut out from my videos. Do you all want to know what Aloe is doing right now? Do you want deeper insight on Amatsuka Uto's situation, like what happened to her that led her to sign up that contract with the black company and what she is doing now? Do you want further information into what the Chinese aunties were doing before and what they're doing now? Do you want access to extra details on my past and future videos that I normally don't put out in public? Well, you can learn all about them by becoming a patron or a member. Now at first people didn't really think that much about it, it was his regular Patreon page where his fans could support him if they wanted to, but it wasn't a necessity. And as for the exclusive content he said he would provide there, although he would be treading dangerous waters by discussing VTubers past, he assured everyone he wouldn't be doxing any VTubers over there. Everything should have been good. Unfortunately, fast forward to November, word started spreading on Twitter and 4chan that Depressed Nosaki apparently was doxing these VTubers he was talking about. Unfortunately, as of the time of this recording, everything has already been wiped clean from his Patreon, but apparently he made videos on Takanashi Kiara, Amelia Watson, and Gargura, where he talks about their past careers, how they ended up in VTubing, and he even showed their faces in the thumbnails and video itself. Again, everything has already been wiped clean, so this is just information I'm hearing from word of mouth. However, Nosagi himself has responded and corrected on the record that he never released their real names or addresses in the video itself, so here's a snippet from a response he did. I wanted to discuss VTubers and their stories in a greater context than just their current personas. To avoid this content appearing publicly for anyone to stumble across it unwillingly, I put it on my Patreon. I said that I had this kind of content throughout my channel's history. I never sought to hide it from my viewers and who might be also interested in that content. What happened wasn't some gotcha moment or a secret thing that I've been doing behind the scenes. I did my best to be transparent about it. When I announced my Patreon, I even made an entire video about it back in March. While I always tell my viewers to support me by joining my membership or Patreon, I don't use the past life aspect as part of its appeal when I do. In fact, I don't tell people the perks of my Patreon in my videos at all. They discover that themselves when they're interested enough to actually look at my page. It's my way of giving people a layer or an obstacle from the information, my own way of containing it. I never deceived or intended to deceive my audience. A lot of people have also spread misinformation surrounding those videos too, saying that I put in their addresses, numbers, or whatever sensitive and dangerous information that the talents had, 
but those are all untrue. The things that I put in those videos have no actionable content whatsoever. What I did was just merely go over their history on the internet, telling their, jo telling their journey along the way and how they broke into VTubing. I didn't realize the weight of my responsibility. And this whole incident was the wake-up call. But I've come to a decision to leave the rabbit hole. I've given it a few days of thought and it seems to make sense to me. I can handle the hate. I can handle the backlash. Because I can learn from it. I can right my wrongs. Rebuild bridges. In many months, maybe. Just maybe I'll even be redeemed if I play my cards right. But this whole thing affects how I feel about the VTuber community and how they feel about me. I've been blast I've been blacklisted. I'm unwelcome. Whenever I watch a VTuber clip or some shenanigans on Twitter, I can't help but think that in the back of my mind, these people don't want me here. Whenever I want to comment under a tweet or a clip, whenever I appear on my Oshis chat, I have this burning feeling that I'm not wanted. That even if people don't know I'm there, they still hate me personally. Now, it's pretty darn clear that he was rather distraught when he was making this video. It's clear that he was getting shit from all sorts of directions. He lost connections from several friends he's made in the communities, and he was basically ostracized and kicked out. He stayed firm to his decision to leave the community. However, after he calmed down for a bit, he did make a follow-up tweet saying that he would make a graduation stream. And in said stream, he did go into more details on some of the reasons on why he decided to leave the community. And apparently, the drama he was facing was a factor in the decision, but it wasn't a major thing. It, it was a combination of several different factors, according to him. Following said livestream, he released about six more videos, with the final one being him just listing out his favorite VTubers as a sort of goodbye. And it looks like that really was his last video. I'm not sure if he's leaving YouTube or the VTuber community, but I think he's done with the depressed Noseki identity he's built up. So I guess this is the part where I give my own personal feelings on the drama itself, and to be honest, it's probably not going to be an answer that the community is going to like. But hey, I guess I'm used to having the unpopular opinion at this point. So the VTuber community has this taboo where if you even so much as breathe the name of the past careers of these VTubers, then you are enemy number one. You are the lowest scum of the earth and you are a doxer. And my real problem with that sentiment is the usage of the word doxer. Look, when I hear the word doxer, I'm thinking, oh, someone got their address leaked or their phone number or the school they go to, something that can actually harm them. But in the case of Depressed Nosaki, he was just talking about their past careers, their previous aliases, the content they were making before they joined whatever company they joined. You know, public information that these girls willingly put out on their own. Every famous person starts somewhere, and part of being a celebrity or a content creator or whatever kind of public figure meant putting yourself out there willingly. When you upload your face or your content or whatever kind of thing you do on the internet for the purpose of entertaining the masses, you kind of have to do it with the assumption that it's going to stay there forever because that's just how the internet works. Now, if Nosaki really was releasing things like their home address or their phone numbers or something like really, really private, then yeah, I'd be against him too. But from what I'm seeing, he literally just talked about what they were doing for content before they blew up to mainstream of uh, fame. And people were getting really ass mad about that, which I just don't see the problem with. Sure, you can make the argument that it's insensitive, but it's not doxing, my dudes. That's like claiming it's doxing to say that Troy Savon was a YouTuber before he became a singer. Or saying that Jake Paul was a YouTuber or a Disney star in the past is doxing just because he's a boxer now. It's it's dumb. It's public information. People are allowed to talk about it. Get off your fucking high horse. So yeah, I think this whole thing was blown way out of proportion. I don't think Depressed Nosaki did anything particularly wrong. And it is kind of really sad to see him go, man, because he legitimately made some good videos and he was one of the only few content creators within the VTuber community community that I legitimately respected, so yeah, real shame, real shame. But on that note, I think that's all I had to say. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.